Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to show you how easy it is to upgrade an external hard drive with a higher capacity disk. The external hard drive I'm upgrading is a 500 megabyte Lassie D2 Quadra from 2008. However, any external hard drive purchased in the past few years should be similarly upgradable using no more than a screwdriver. On this Lassie D2 I need to remove the stand and then to remove the four big screws at the end of the drive. This requires me to break the paper seals over the screws. However, like any external drive you're likely to be upgrading, this unit is well out of warranty. With the back cover plate removed, I also need to remove two screws that retain the unit's interior. With these then taken off, the whole thing then comes apart, with the interior sliding out fairly easily. Here you can see it's fitted with a standard 3.5 inch SATA drive, which is held in place with the usual four screws. With these screws removed, it's possible to slowly jiggle the drive back and forward to slowly remove it from the circuit board. The replacement hard disk I'm fitting is a 2TB Western Digital Caviar Green. This is a low energy device and hardly the fastest on the market, however it will run nice and cool which makes it a very good disc to fit into a fanless external housing such as a Lacey D2. The new drive simply fits into place just like the old one and then needs securing with the same four screws. I then need to refit the static retaining screen which is always one of my favourite parts of a build. I can then slide the drive and electronics back inside the case and refit the front cover. Before I fit the back cover, I've got to reconnect the retaining screws that hold the internal mechanism in place, and then fit the back plate back on the drive. Back in go the four very long connection screws that go right from the back of the case to the front, and these of course need screwing back into place. Finally, I just need to refit the stand, and the drive is all back in one piece. Most external hard drives purchased before 2007 can be upgraded with a new disk of up to 2 terabytes. However, beyond 2 terabytes, there are likely to be compatibility issues with the drive electronics. You should also note that external disks purchased before 2007 will probably be fitted with an IDE rather than a SATA drive. Hard disks with this older type of interface cannot be purchased at a high capacity and are not cost effectively upgradable. When performing an upgrade, you also need to purchase a new disk of the right physical size. Larger external drives, like the Lassie D2 I've upgraded in this video, will need a 3.5 inch drive mechanism, while smaller drives will need a 2.5 inch disk. Returning to my upgraded Lacey drive, I just need to connect it to a computer, go into computer management, and then initialize the disk. Next, I need to partition the disk, where I'm going to create just one primary partition. The wizard will then prompt me to format the drive. Here, I'm selecting the Windows default NTFS format, Note also that I'm not enabling Quick Format. This will make Windows do a full format, which means that any bad sectors on the disk will be identified and removed from use. This does mean, however, that my new 2TB disk will take about 5 hours to format to its final 1.81TB capacity. Upgrading my D2 Quadra was 40% cheaper than buying a new drive, in addition to being more environmentally friendly. 
More information on computer storage can be found on explainingcomputers.com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.